If you're going to build a battery-powered scooter that you would actually be proud to ride, it had better be awesome. Scooters have a real crummy connotation. And who better to shake that sad stigma than the guy who designed, built, and drives this electrified creation. And this one too. I'm kind of a motorcycle guy myself, and you know, I think there's a there's a big necessity for you know compact, portable transportation. You know, a stand-up electric scooter that would do all the things, you know any other scooter would do, but be more compact, be faster, more fun to drive. Yes, the co-founders of Works Electric have lofty goals, but what they've achieved... There's nothing out there that, that even compares to it in terms of the range and speed. Is, well, awesome. This vehicle, our Rover BR, weighs 95 pounds. It has a top speed of 35 miles an hour and has a range of a little bit over 30 miles. It's extremely practical, super fun to drive, and you can get you know, as aggressive as you want on it. You can ride it you know, almost like a snowboard, you know, in terms of how you keep your foot forward and you keep your foot in the back. The Rover is surprisingly easy to ride. It's stable, the fat tires hug the ground, and when you grab a handful of throttle, the torque kicks in immediately. But what makes it so much fun to ride? So this is the full assembly. On first inspection, the chassis looks like a chunk of metal pulled off of a Ford F-150. But dig a little deeper and you'll see that it has more in common with a Formula One race car. I wanted to design the whole thing, obviously, as simplistically as humanly possible, uh, but then also uh, as robust as possible. The whole bike is constructed out of aluminum. I do all the welding, so the whole bike is welded by hand right now, by me. Uh, it has probably the most advanced battery pack that you're going to find in a scooter right now. We're using a, a lithium-ion technology and very similar cells, if not the same as uh, currently what's going in the Tesla uh, Model S. We incorporate regenerative braking, which means that when you slow down, it's sending power back to the battery pack. LED headlights and tail lights, the whole front end folds down, uh, there's a, a place to put your phone in the top and we actually have a phone app that, uh, that we're getting going, uh, which gives you your speed, your odometer. To step onto your own rover and sample its premium design, craftsmanship and performance, expect to pay a premium $5,000 price tag and you'd better not be in a hurry. The company is sold out of its first production run and a line is already forming for the next batch. People are definitely into a, a different form of transportation and definitely a, a more economical and environmentally friendly form of transportation. And what Works Electric has created is just that, a low maintenance, easy to ride vehicle. They call it the ultimate urban electric vehicle and they're expecting to see a whole host of imitators. My objective is to ensure that when these other bikes come out, they look like little sissy bikes, comparatively speaking, you know. Ours will always be the most powerful and the fastest and the sweetest. So beware, sissy bikes. The Rover is the new big boy scooter that's challenging the image of what a scooter can be.